TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live. We are live. I'm tweaking. Um, but you won't you won't catch this. So leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, you see a little warning screen. Just in case anything get out of pocket on what we're watching, you've been warned. Uh, don't forget, we also got Patreon, where we post five days a week, sometimes more. It's been five days a week more so than often lately, but, you know, we still putting the pedal to the metal, doing the basics. Uh, don't forget, man, twitch.com. Usernames at the bottom of the screen. We're almost at 3,000 followers. Come on now. Even if you don't watch, just go. It's free. Just go follow. <laughs> The support factor is unwavering. Anyway, this is Police Interceptors. Talk to me. Copyright, copyright disclaimer, disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. True. This better be. The M1. A million vehicles a week use this road. Most are legit. The rest belong to the interceptors. Who are en route to the motor. Why is she trying to look tantalizing? <laughs> Who are en route to the motorway oh, to intercept a suspect van. We've had a uh, reliable sighting of a, uh, a transit van coming north of the M1. It's got a stolen marker. Well, she over serious. She knows she on camera and people are going to see it. She. She ain't. She trying to keep the straightest. I salute that energy though, man. Uh, which only went on this morning from the Salford area of Greater Manchester. So we're making our way from Leeds to the motorway network where the M1 and the M62 meet. Leaving afternoon traffic for dead, Gary McMaster. When he's not chasing bad guys, GMAC's all about rugby and monster munch. Fast cars, hard tackles, big snacks. But he's got a... Why that just sound so... Something was off about it, the way he described it. Taste for a Ford Transit today. We're going to have some sighter cars and then some marked units to come up behind and then we can all converge on it. Leaving unmarked units to track the van, marked cars plot up at potential escape points. I don't know, if y'all haven't noticed, I have a thing for women in uniform. I'm pretty sure a lot of you have noticed this by now. Uh, another thing, I got a business cap, business attire for women. Top tier. It's top level. When she got on that little, what, what is it called? The little business attire? When they get the, the blazer and the matching whatever, pants or skirt. It's tough. It's, it's, it's Honestly, it's unmatched. That's what I want to see you in. <laughs> Not no, not to be weird, but that's the like energy that I'm trying to attract. Don't come to me half naked. That mean you ain't got shit to lose. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to see that. You know. I'll sit up here with these. Gary and Emma are stationed off Junction 41 in case the target leaves the motorway. And after a quick rendezvous, bonjour. Hi. Hi. Somebody else. Yeah, very well. They take up position behind she fellow really interceptors. Is. Trying to look good and tough at the same time. Uh, the plan is to box in the van with multiple cars. Uh, it's past the junction, so Gary and Co. rejoin the M1. See if you're insecure on the. Now they're playing catch up, and it's the team at the next junction 
it needs to go right behind it. Get right behind it. Get right behind it. Who will get first shot at the transit? They surround the stolen van. Right, so the the van, the van. Yeah, he's trying to stop. Yeah, he's, uh, I think he's trying to... But it beats the trap. Yeah, it's going to go, lads. It's trying to ram us. It's going to go. The suspect's taking major risks at motorway speeds. As the transit leads the pursuing pack off the motorway, one interceptor is pushed wide onto the hard shoulder. Mm. Better be careful. Take a crazy risk. Where well, the driver's forced to stop in a cloud of dust. Ooh. It's not one, not one. Approaching red lights. The transit. The way she got no facial expression is worrying me a little bit. It's trying to lose them on a roundabout. Not three, not three, towards Leeds. But a marked unit strikes. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop it. Tactical contact, but it's not enough. Yeah, it's wrong way up, wrong way up the shoulder, back onto the 62, wrong way, and plus if you could advise police. Can I have units please to 27? Units to 27 here, sir. The van's heading the wrong way on the M62. Uh, Cop cars hang back. Three one way are overhead of the video. But the air support unit doesn't. It's still wrong way on the uh, hard shoulder. Eastbound carriage going westbound from the 28 towards 27. It's going wrong way. I'm going to lie, this dude diabolical and he, he going the wrong way. He just, he doesn't care. In this direction. For zero, we are at 27. We stayed on the network. We're just approaching 27 now. Can I just bring it to the point where we get the entry to so we can go across and get the footwear through the camp? Praying the van comes off at junction 27, Gary. Bro, it's really going up the shoulder in opposite uh, opposite lane of the, tra the traffic. This is crazy. And Emma plan to lay a stinger device to burst its tires. So far, we've stopped traffic coming up up onto the entrance from uh, 27. Anyone approaching uh, 27, stand by. Fingers cr crossed. Three one, it's off, 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 off at 27. Oh, their prayers are answered, but they're too late to lay the stinger. Uh, and there she goes. Oh, respect, please. It's past three one. It's A62, A62 Golden Road towards Leeds. Gary finally has the van in his sights. From your four zero confirm, we are behind this vehicle. We are car one. It is still Golden Road, general direction of Cotton Springs. Taking big risks with oncoming cars. Can I have someone got a seat patch monitor in there? The transit's flying. Yeah, he taking spooky well, they're risks. Speed eight zero, eight zero miles an hour. It's still Gelded Road. We are going to be able to get ahead of the vehicle to be able to uh, get steam right in time. Remember, try and get it to go um, left when it gets to the first car. I'm on the ring I'll get a thing and dice that up somewhere. Yeah. I ain't never seen a van of this size actually give the police some go. The chase normally over relatively swiftly, but he's willing to take these chances that I ain't that he taking crazy chances. Acknowledged when it's got left onto the ring road. Gary needs to pull alongside and ease the van left towards the waiting stinger. But facing oncoming traffic at 80 miles per hour, something's got to give. He's preventing me, he's preventing me. He's, he's going head on. What they mean something gotta give? Four zero confirm we are behind this vehicle, we are cow. I don't wanna see a recap. Just let's get to the trying to edge it left into the path of a stinger team. He's preventing me, he's preventing me. He's, he's going head on. Gary's pulled out. Six five nine Right. Because Van Man won't give an inch. 4 zero, we couldn't get to the offside of it. It's taken right, right. Onto the ring road, general direction towards the motorway network again. A black. They might have to just wait till he runs out of gasoline or something. Clad arm at the passenger window. Deposit it. 
Drop something. Four zero. Passengers just deposited some out of its window. It's uh, taken wrong way around the roundabout. Leaving the package to local units, Gary hammers round the roundabout. Now he's second place in the pursuit. Robbie Warren's race is second car, keep a friend. Black package thrown out to the driver's side on edge of the roundabout. He might be the Whether they meant to damage cars or confuse the cops, they failed. It is now Whitehall Road leads out of the city. Whitehall Road out of the city. There it is. Got it there. There it is. Just go around bend. Okay, I'm ready, it's on that bend. And it's right, right, right. It's done by Wolf's Lane. Wolf's Lane. Like, I, like he's, he's giving it all he got and putting a lot of people in danger. But listen, the chopper will never, <laughs> the chopper will never give up. Everything else might give up. The chopper is going to be up there. And I'm pretty sure they got, are in communication with other people in choppers that in case it run out of gas, it, there'll be another one up there. With an unmarked on his bumper, Van Man leaves the main road. Mark vehicles, turn right, turn right towards the yellow van. In the rush to escape, the transit clips the curb and blows two tyres. Oh, yeah, it's over. It's really near side, it's front near side. It's going to be a decamped short out there, say. This is the end game. The van's pulling into a pub. Passengers' doors open. Driver's door. It's a decamp, decamp in the pub car park, two out and running. In fact, three have run in different directions, with interceptors all over them. Emma's with a group chasing the two passengers. Stay there! Stay where you are! The cops are closing in as the suspects vault a fence and head for the woods. Leaving them to the long distance runners. I have to go back to the van. Emma heads back in search of the driver. I ain't gonna lie, Emma, I would have did the same thing. Like, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. This is not my forte. Y'all doing a lot of cross-country running right now. I ain't got it. Three one drivers down round the rear of the pub. He's gone round the rear of the pub. He's on his knees in the bush, but he hasn't approached. Yeah, the driver of this car is definitely going to jail. There's no dodging. <laughs> it's like I've seen some chases and they ain't get no jail time. Buddy, you might as well get your little uh you might as well call your mom, call your girl, get you pat, tell her to pack you some things, and it's, you're done. You're done, buddy. Right. Three, one, the drivers in the bushes, stop. Three police officers, the triangle of land with the bush to your right, stop now. Officer, hand in the air, stop, back. Come back to the. Somebody says she's Lisa 2.0. Lisa wouldn't have never hopped out the car, 100%. She would not have hopped out that car. She would have, yeah, I'm going to go around, cut him off. <laughs> Tree, the triangle in front of you, there's a big bush. Colder. Warmer. Warmer. Nicked. Now for the passengers, who've whittled down the pursuing pack to just one cop. The bad guys are through the hedge in a flash, but their pursuers hit a snag. Now, with a good head start, the men split up. Yeah. 3-1, if I can get a unit to Tong Lane at Tong, that's the general direction they're going towards. If one unit can go to Tong Lane at Tong, please. Is that? Well, it's on the 2-2, two, two, we're at Tong Lane now. One suspect is deep in the woods. I ain't gonna lie, they gave the police all they could give them, though. Can't hide from the thermal imaging camera. Empire 3 I've got an officer on a dirt track on foot. Go straight ahead and take your right fork. They'll be ahead of you. Yep, got you. He's got an interceptor on his tail. Officer in the yellow top corner of the field, so you can get through the corner and go straight ahead along that farm track. And more closing in. He's also running out of puff and heading straight for units at Tong Lane. One of the males is going to head in that general direction. Sierra Devil One, coming down Tong Lane now. As the suspect marches into thicker undergrowth and picks through the brambles, there's news on the other passenger. One murder claim three. I have got one. Three five four eight. I've got one. Proceed. So two five four eight. Got one. Two down. One to go. This is the last crimp standing.
Meanwhile, at the crash site, the driver nicked in the bushes is loaded into an unmarked car. While the van he drove so dangerously gets a thorough search. Got a set of uh, two sets of number plates. No doubt they'll have been used at some point to uh, put on two other vehicles to hide the true identity of the vehicle. Woo! Fair amount of uh, generators within the back. It's not uncommon for thieves to target construction sites to steal generators, which can be worth thousands. Can count at least one, two, three, four. There's about six generators in there. Um, no doubt they'll come back stolen. Not a bad afternoon's work so far. Just stand up and off. At the minute, it's, uh, well, cops 2 one nil, I think, the so far. But uh, we'll out. see if we can get the third one. If there's anything that can get to Corn Mill House off Mill Lane, it's the farm sort of below where we are near the pylons, they might be able to cut him off. It's been an epic cross-country pursuit, but coming number three, your time is up. An interceptor's bearing down on him, taser drawn. He's uh, just being detained now by an officer. And then there were none. Got all of you. That's uh, all three in. Looks like a uh, like some older gentleman too. robbery. So they won't be going anywhere for a while. The driver of the stolen van racked up a truckload of charges. Of course. He was found guilty of dangerous driving. Yeah. Driving whilst disqualified. Yeah. And no insurance. Yeah, that he seems was sent light, to prison but... for 16 months. No further action was. 16 months? taken against him with regards to the stolen van or the suspected robbery. They figured he had Both enough. passengers were released without charge. And this is why we... Listen, there, the UK needs to be studied. I do... I, listen. Crime is like you could do whatever there, it seems. Bro just went... To, Every unit was on a high-speed chase. Opposite sides of the highway and all of that. <sighs> Salute. We come to rest. Bring car around. Bring the car around. When a crime's committed, oh. get down. Interceptors react like lightning. They're running up to Bull Roy. They're running up to Bull Roy. Pull over. But prevention is better than a cure. And that's where the proactive intercept team comes in. We've been set proactive. up. Proactive? What? To really. Proactive internet? Wait a minute. Okay. There's a lot going on this episode. Proactive intercept team. This must be the try hardest of the try hardest right here. Get a grip of criminals that are using the roads of West Yorkshire as a. Uh, as their playground for committing crime. Traffic, they're very similar to us, but they don't have the time to be going out and, and targeting these offenders that we have, so we're in a quite privileged position. Armed with high-powered covert cars, Pitt officers use key intelligence to stop major villains before they offend. The tactics we use allows us to build up a picture of criminals, the vehicles they use, and sometimes we've only got a small opportunity if we know a vehicle's live uh, in the area committing crime, it might, might only be live for a few days, so we've got to act quickly. Which they frequently do. Open the door now! Open the door! Do it now! Open the door now! It's midday on the M62. And pit officers Harry and Steph are responding to intel from their most formidable source, the tax man. We received some information from our partners at HMRC there's a vehicle, a VW Transporter in white, that's on the motorway network uh, in possession of a large amount, a large quantity of cash. More than £100 billion in crime proceeds are laundered through the UK every year. Intercepting dirty money deals a direct blow to organised crime. Ooh. Yeah, it's looking like it's, uh, it's criminal property, this cash. Uh, so it's important we get it out of the criminal's hands and, um, and seize from him, really hit him in the pocket. Big H comes from a long line of coppers and by joining the high-speed pit team, 
he's bagged the best job in the family. Yeah, we're roughly the right area now, uh, possibly a little bit ahead of us. The target, a white VW transporter, is reportedly heading for Manchester, but that's all the information they have. So we're just working through traffic um, as we can. Obviously, we don't want to get behind it and spook it. But as they plot up on the motorway, the van has vanished. We've not come across it and there's been no sightings. Um, so we're just plotted up. The information They're intelligence from HMRC is they that they will be, be coming here, through on the M62 to Manchester. So we've plotted up to see if it comes through and then we've got the units in place um, to put a stop in. This may be their one shot at seizing the cash. It's very important that we get hold of this quickly before the money disappears. Um, so we need to secure the evidence uh, and the people in the car as quickly as possible. It's just too risky for us to, to stop anything on the motorway using our discreet vehicles. So we're looking at following the vehicle till it comes off, coming up, up to a natural pause point such as, I don't know, red, red traffic light. But first, they have to find it. There, it's through. Steph, you're cleared for takeoff. Steph spends his spare time blasting clay pigeons from the sky with a shotgun. But he'd rather bring down a van full of cash today. Lads, it was one up white male driver, I think, by the looks of it. Harry and Steph are part of a trio of covert cars designed to blend in with traffic and strike fast. So the vehicle's come through now. There's one of our units ahead that are directly behind it. Um, almost. We're just keeping eyes on now, getting our units in place uh, to allow us to put our tactics and get on the front foot a bit. Ideally, the target van would pull off the motorway. The nearer he gets to Manchester, the more chance they have of losing him. My intention that traffic wants too far. Uh, we don't know the investigation of this vehicle. Right. Happy days. What's this exit? Junction 20. They're committed off and Committed on? Off, I think he said. He did. The target has left the motorway. Steph follows suit. and tucks in behind another pit BMW. Lads, I still think he's just won in this. There's only one in front. We're going to be alongside it, aren't we? So I'm going to be able to get out. Two beamers indistinguishable from everyday traffic. Look like the golf clear, Fozzy. Let the golf lights on until they strike. Did he pull over? Okay. Get, Get, your phone. Phone. Get off the phone! You got it, mate. Got it. You got the phone? Got the phone. It's on the clutch, mate. It's on the clutch. From stealth mode to full arrest in the time it takes to say you're nicked. Do you put that in flight mode, mate? Yes, mate. They don't want anyone alerted to the arrest, so no calls in or out. The phone could contain vital contacts and intelligence. Keep your foot in car, mate. Right, all in yours, mate. Yeah. Right, take a step out, mate. Are we gonna get? Is this gonna be? Are we gonna actually see some money or no? I don't want this all to be for nothing. Yeah, we just put more monitoring back. So we managed to get the vehicle stopped oh, nice and safely, no damage, no injuries. Driver's been detained, we secured the phone. We're going to get everyone off the network now and uh, get There's it There's something about this dude that I've always thought was annoying. And it's just, it's just, it's rearing its head again. Maybe it's the way he talk. He just sound real coppish. Search properly, get um, any offences dealt with. An initial search of the VW turns up nothing. 
it's looking like the tip-off from the tax man may have been a red herring. Yeah, that's like a ten. If they don't find any cash, the then the driver will be free to go. Man's out here just trying to have a good camping trip. But this isn't the team's first rodeo. A vehicle like this has many, many... Oh, this is a like a camper sleeping van where you live and sleep in this mug. Void, so quite creative the way people uh, hide, want to hide things. So anything illicit, uh, maybe hidden in body panels, they may create false panels or fal false voids. So uh, at the moment we're just... They're just doing all of this? Screwing some various panels because we think we've identified uh, a void where there may be something hidden. So we're just looking into that area now. Intel said there was a large sum of criminal cash on board. And after a full half an hour of searching, ka-ching. So we've located a, a green bag. And contained within that green bag is uh, various 20 pound notes. Uh, we don't know what sort of quantity, but there's a hell of a lot of money there. So as you can see there, there's lots of, uh, lots of bundles of 20 pound notes, two bags full. So look, looking at that, we're not looking at a few hundred pounds or a few thousand pounds. We're looking at tens of thousands. Nah, this, real, this real cheddar right here, buddy. Thousands of pounds. It may even run into six figures, so maybe hundreds of thousands of pounds. We don't know yet until it's counted. The driver with a van full of dirty cash was charged with money laundering and awaits his day in court. The maximum sentence for such a crime is 14 years in prison. Ouch. As for the money seized by the proactive intercept team, it was forfeited to the crown. A sum forfeited to the crown. Well over two hundred thousand pounds. To the cr what you mean forfeited to the crown? What they gonna do with it? Sums up. Something's up. I don't know what's going on. The great bit of intel. I've never heard forfeited to the crown or the the city of or or like uh, that's not. It normally stays and gets destroyed, don't it? From our partners at HMRC, it's fantastic. So a great result, loads of cash recovered. So yeah, we're all chuffed and uh, on to the next one. Still to come. Red Agricultural Quad, traveling at five zero miles an hour. When it comes to intimidating sights on the roads, Few things beat a masked man on a quad bike. He's taken a right, 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 and he's off-road, off-road. Their off-road advantage and strict rules on pursuing them has long given quad riders the upper hand. But West Yorkshire has recently levelled the playing field. Come on, you. Come on. Clearing trained interceptors to make tactical contact. So, in the battle between cops and quads, My bad. I still don't believe in that. Tactical contact? Like, nah, man. Nah. Y'all gotta figure something else out. That's crazy. That soon will be dislawed. I, I, I don't think that'll last. That was then? It, it's gonna be a loss, loss. We've had to abort to get off the road again. This is now. It's a glorious summer day, and Ben and Matt are on patrol in sunny Saltair. Just had some intelligence that there's a, an off-road quad up and down Saltair Road in the top part of Eldwick, and that is a very, very affluent area. Um, the gentleman's got a balaclava on. The gentleman must really feel the cold. It's not, I know it's sunny, but let's be honest, it's still 22 degrees. You don't really need to be wearing a balaclava. So they're only wearing a balaclava to put fear into people. What does that mean? You know how normal balaclavas is now? I, how, when was this filmed? Oh. Benny boys see more balaclavas than your average. COVID made it okay. It's ski instructor, and he's not convinced that Quadman got lost on his way to the Alps. Now, I'm not saying it's anything to do with burglaries, but there's a lot of portion going on up there, and a lot of people sussing houses out, so we're going to make his way up, uh, try and drop on this quad and see what happens. 
whatever they're up to, interceptors have little time for masked riders scaring residents. They try and use quads because they're a little bit more intimidating. A lot of people, yeah. Mr. and Mrs. Miggins, don't know how to take these vehicles. Quick, quick, quick. No, stay there, stay there. He's making off. He can't turn around. But it's a less than great escape. Gently, little nudge, and leg it. Stop there! Oh, what the? Alright, I'm not resisting, I'm not resisting. He just slammed him up into the right. Uh, it's a pedestrian's regular old civilian's car. What the nudge? Wow. Don't you just love it when a plan comes together? Tactical come. Okay, that right there is different. That, okay, if that is tactical contact, so be it. I'm, I've seen episodes where they do the old oh, tactical contact. Bro's going 40 miles an hour and they <laughs> ram him off the bus. I've seen it. That, I can't, I, that's tough. Contact work every time I put it to bed. Pushed it out way and I've stopped him. You can see, see fear on his face and say, we're not mucking about, we're not pursuing you, and I'm gonna push you off quad straight away. So, slight little bit of damage up front of the car, but it's worked to treat, I'm happy with that. What's your name? Keenan. Anything on you, Keenan? What's that? Anything on you in your pockets? No. Building road in building, we've got one male detained. We're just gonna try and find out if his quad's stolen at the moment. Yeah, we've received a couple of confusion. Hello. Hello. You're right. Who's his bike? A mate. Stolen? A mate. No. Just no docks? A mate stolen no, bike. No. Right. You got license? No. You uh, look, what's the point in trying to go then? I don't know what I'll do. With I know. Tactical contact mate all day long, we'll just shove you off it. We'll box you in now and push you off it, ram you all day long. Definitely let to do that. Yeah. New rules, sunshine. So just think on next time, yeah? And think on whose bike you've been riding. So who's your friend that owns this quad? You don't know his name, but he's letting his quad. Do you to believe that? He may have a balaclava, but he won't pull the wool over Matt's eyes. Do you believe that? Yeah? Matt, you ain't gotta believe it. Write it down. What's ticket stolen then? It's not stolen. Whose quad's then? So we can verify it? Because otherwise what'll happen is you're gonna get locked up for theft of motor vehicle. Okay. Who? Looking from my perspective. You've seen us. You try to make off. You're wearing a bad clava. What? I, need, I, I wish they stopped. I, get, I, I don't know. It must be different in the UK with the bad clava type thing. Everybody wears them now. Like, you can't, like. Like, it's, no, it's a norm. Like, of course, you don't walk into a store with it on. Because they're going to be like, yo. <laughs> But like just on an everyday outside. Need some details, but I the... seen somebody in Florida in ninety degree weather with a balaclava on. I was like, "You good?" <laughs> Quad. So you can come here with some documentation. Other than that, you're getting locked up for theft of motor vehicle because can't find a chassis number on it. You could use up your phone, a friend, if you could remember his name. So is it? Think fast. Yeah, he got a nice quad too. You don't know whose quad it is? Is it stolen? No, it's stolen. Where have you got it from? My mate. Who's that? Right, are you going to tell us who that is? No. Right. On CSIU controller. He doesn't know whose it is. He doesn't know who owns it. So currently it's going to be reported as stolen. So he's going to elect a lot theft of motor vehicle. So positive result for us. No damage. Well, when I say no damage, I've just looked at front bumpers. There's a, lot, there's a slight few marks, but um, no injuries or all that. So good response. Happy. So. It's Romeo 3-2. The lad with the balaclava and short memory was reported for driving without insurance. With no proof that the quad was stolen, no action was taken in regards to the allegation of theft. But after his gentle brush with the law, hopefully he'll give quads a wide berth in the future. We're up here and it just got... He said he ain't say nothing, he ain't say no names. Wasn't even stolen. Couldn't prove it. Supposed to prove that the tactics that we have and what we're taught. But he probably came and picked his quad up. If you saw, he didn't have a clue what day it was, and he were out of his depth completely. Um, which is that? That's what we want to do, and what we want to achieve. So, 
just to let you know we are out there we are doing it and it does work so if you're on a stolen motorbike or a stolen quad you better be careful I'll be sitting there, but I can't get my friggin' hand in. A typical interceptor boasts many. Uh uh. No, I don't. We don't need to show it. <laughs> Come on now, don't do me like this. Virtues. Diligence. That's got kind of missing it. Well, okay, there we go. We've seen that episode. I don't know why they're gonna do that. They just don't want to see me win. <laughs> Humility. Even chastity. I definitely would not. If I was off the shift, no, I definitely would not. <laughs> but she would have. She was smiling too much. She was smitten. When it comes to bagging bad guys. Yeah, that's when it went last time. It's all about patience. We are after a grey punto that has been, we were looking for it last week. It's been involved in a few make off without payments. So he's been going to petrol stations, filling up and driving off. So it would have a bit of a target, yeah. It's impossible in America. I still think that is crazy that y'all can pull up, pump gas, then pay. That's crazy. You have to pay first here. No ifs, ands, buts about it. It's mid afternoon and the two Chris's are seeking the one that got away. So we're sort of tracking it before and we're just trying to remember the different routes that it went last time. After 14 years on the force, Chris knows all the tricks, including the fact that drivers often use the same routes when trying to lose the cops. What's that up there, Chris? See it? That's Great car. Off. Yeah, that's it, innit? It is indeed, mate. The one. X-ray Romeo 46. We are behind the vehicle now. Just heading to Castleford. Stand by for um, straight then. So the unit's coming. Yeah, I'm coming towards you. It's fair to say that they won't lose the suspect Punto this time. Uh, yeah, I see you coming towards me. Forget it. With Chris and Chris leading a three-car convoy, we'll put stop in. All the pieces are in place. And it's checkmate. Engine off. Yeah. Jump out. I'm doing nothing wrong. Jump out. We've been watching too much. Take a seat. A collar seven days in the making and well worth the wait. And it's a stop stop. A familiar smell leads Chris to search the punto. And the interceptors turn up. Thought I could smell it. How? In the gas tank? Y'all smelled it? Come on now, be realistic. An interesting discovery behind the fuel cap. More bag of cannabis, just fine. Oh my god. Just, I'm um, alright. One bag of weed. He's obviously secreted it in the one petrol tank. Where he's been nicking out fuel, ironically. To add to the suspect's woes, but it's shown as insured on PNC, but there's um, it's in, shown insured to a different vehicle. It looks like he's uninsured. It's shown as make and model as a Vauxhall Corsa Club CDTI, um, and this is not a Vauxhall Corsa. He claims his brother sorted the policy. So I'll just have to ring my brother now to send an uh, email right now to you then. To ease. Chris patiently helps check with the insurance company. Right, and then would they have all been sent by email? Um, I'd imagine. You can send them in via email if you want to put them on. I can give them a list of everything that we need. Um, yeah. If you send them in via email, we'll be able to make the change as soon as we receive them. Lovely. I'll pass you on to him in case he's got any questions. Talking fast. Hello. 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 It's not in short. What we need to email is That's what they've said. Okay. Yep. They even get the suspect's brother on the phone. That certificate makes no difference because I've just spoke to the underwriters. It is not on cover. Oh, I'll tell you what then, I'll just report your brother for no insurance and I'll see his car. Well, that's fine. You take the car. You take the car. Give him up. Give Chris him gets no thanks for trying to help. And while one brother rants on the phone, <laughs> the other follows suit in the car. I don't want that. I don't want to listen to me. Yeah. I don't want my car. Uh, I some comedy right here. Yeah, I'll see you. Call. 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 Call.
Won't we fall out of my car, are you, man? I'm tired for this morning to warn you. So you do not have to say anything, but it may have me defensive. If you do not mention, when questioned. I'll tell you what then. Section 5A. Let's try this. Motormouth has also earned himself a drug wipe. Right, my colleague found some cannabis in your car because yeah, yeah, yeah. it smelled of cannabis, that's why yeah, he searched yeah. it, all right? So because of that, yeah, yeah. I require you to provide me a... I don't believe that they smelled that. There's no way. That is incredible sense of smell that they smelled that in the tank. Maybe, I don't know. I'm not a person that, that partakes in class B's, but like, that's crazy. Sample of saliva at the roadside for testing. And stick your tongue out and lean forward. Stick your tongue right out. That's nasty. What if somebody tongue white? Just to let you know, the cannabis is found outside the vehicle in the petrol cup, officer. It's a trade vehicle, mate, yeah? So we'll see you in court, mate. I never, yeah. I never said I was arresting you for cannabis. You've just yeah. done a breathalyzer on me. You've no, no. Just, you've just I've, swabbed me. I've just swabbed you. you don't come, because you just smell swabbed me. I yeah, don't smell no cannabis, me. mate. Yes, you, you do. Yeah, cannabis I outside. suspect you're driving. It doesn't yeah, matter if it's in a petrol cup. You're it's a all ginger bastard, aren't you? Oh, wow. You're aren't you an absolute delight? You ugly little tramp. Oh my Jesus. god. You don't got money like us, my now will do. Trust me, you you better bonk us. We may oh, see this money, man. Here Get we me. Go. Here you we ain't go. got listen, suck on me, uh, Vinny. Do some of use. Wow. I see the little bastard. Like dealing with a child. Crazy. Oh, saggy mother again. Name black bastard. <laughs> you yeah, you yeah. This is how you just make it worse, man. You definitely, they, they want to take you to the station just to inconvenience your day at this point. Please take me. Take me down, shop, take me down, shop, you son of a bitch. I don't pay. I've done six years in jail, I'll do it again. No bother to me, you duck. Don't bother me, I'm still going to get paid at the end that's, of the day. That's crazy. Six years didn't bother you? You ready to go back? <laughs> I get paid as well, man. I'm getting paid right now, still. It doesn't bother me, man. I've got more money than you and what? I'm not. Yeah, I'm how much you were. I'm going out of six, I'm going out of seven. Will you take them off me? And you're driving a fake punt, oh? Yeah, off his blender, didn't you, Duff? Yeah, of course you are. Yeah. Chris is a low temperature copper with the patience of a saint. This is a drugs wipe. It tests for cannabis and cocaine. At the bottom, there is only one line and there's nothing on the test line, so that means you've tested negative for bingo, cocaine. Bingo! Bingo! Ginger the, nuts. Pretty the, up, man. I've got time for to Get me out of this car. I want to go home. He ain't fin finished, finished, finished yet. I don't care, mate. I want to go on home. On the top line, you've care, tested man. positive for cannabis. So at this stage, you, you are under arrest on suspicion nah, of driving your motor vehicle whilst over the prescribed limit. That's his cuffs. Okay, so you do not have to well, say anything. He talked himself into a smooth drug swipe. <laughs> into some smooth little jail time. But it may harm your defence. If you do not mention now, I'm going to get you first. Do not have to say anything. It may harm your defence. You could have just been quiet and... You know what I'm saying? Went along with it. Do not mention when questioned something later on in court. Anything you do say may be given evidence. Now look at you. Your rest is necessary, but you can take it to the police station for a blood sample. Where are you, Six? In the front. That's, I'm not too tight. Right. Yeah, I'm going to be on right anyway because I've had it for two days. I know for a fact it's going to be under anyway on that. Well, that's on fine. That that's entirely up to you, mate. All right, Ginger knows don't worry about it. I'm not. <laughs> He's still on his bumper. Worried? I'm not in a rush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. You underestimate more, won't If you can keep your head while all around are losing theirs, you'll be an interceptor, my son. No, thank you. No further action was taken regarding the cannabis in the petrol flap or the alleged making off without payment. After failing a blood test, the driver was charged with drug driving and no insurance, but he failed to attend court and is now a wanted man. Outpayment. After failing a blood test, the driver well, the was charged too. with drug driving and no insurance, but he failed to attend court and is now a wanted man. He'll turn up. All the interceptors need is patience. Still to hey, come. hey, hey, don't do that to us. We're waiting patiently.
Since the end of tax discs in 2014, the number of untaxed road users in the UK has almost trebled. But police have been given new powers to seize these vehicles, and it's proving popular with the interceptors. I think they got a whole lot of new, new powers. powers. The DVLA, yeah, it is. Seize your powers. Yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. Bob on it. Bob on. West Yorkshire Police have seized hundreds and hundreds. I wouldn't, I wouldn't like to say, mate. The first six many. months. Yeah, I wouldn't like to say how many. Hundreds of cars many. that are not taxed. Take them off road. It's a wet night in the city centre, and Claire and Bobo are tailing a performance golf that's showing as no tax or insurance. Is that? Yeah, it's a golf. I said that would go. It's a stop. It's not a stop. No McDonald's. Always McDonald's. Oh, they think the driver's making off as he ignores blue lights and weaves through a car park. Just trying to get out. Trying it? to go get a big yeah. map. Romeo three zero. Yeah, he's gone to the thing. It's a dry snow. But it seems this guy was just in a rush to get to the front of the queue. Yeah, just stand by. The golf is hidden in drive-through traffic. How am I going to get him out of there now? He's going. He's going. He's going. The only place he's going is the order window. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Bro, I'm trying to get his little Big Mac with fries. I can't decide. Let me try again. Hi. You all right? Yeah. I thought you were trying to get away then. No. Uh -huh. Is it your car? Yeah. All right. It's... I just purchased it today. All right, OK. Yeah. Of course he did. It's not showing no insurance and stuff. The drive through line isn't the easiest place to interview a suspect. Sorry about that. Have you just ordered food? Yeah. Like... But Claire's got bigger fish to fry than his food order. It's showing no insurance, that's why we're coming oh, to right. speak. Along with no MOT, it's also showing as not being insured. This is the point when Claire would normally invite him into her car for a chat. Sit in the car if you like, just for a minute, honestly. But this... This is crazy. See, the, the, the stuff that police do in the UK, that, this is never happening in a minute. Yeah, sit in my car real quick, no way. This is not happening. Guys obviously never seen police interceptors, so Claire accepts his invitation. Where'd you buy it from? I just bought it from the youth. On tax since February. So what if I get taxed now? I don't know how they will. Right, so have you not taxed it? I don't know how they will. Right. Go, go through here, because you, you, can, you can get your food. This how polite is Claire? You might as well grab your little food, you know what I'm saying? You're going to be walking in a minute. This could be a very expensive burger. I just bought the car now, obviously I don't want you taken off, man. Right. I suppose for me to get a taxi quickly. No. It'll take me a minute. No, because once they're on tax... No. It's going to cost me about £150 to get out of compound. I just purchased the car. Yeah, I see what you're saying. But right, what you need, it's your responsibility, isn't it, to have it taxed, insured, MOT, and all that. You know what, I'll just come here now just to buy food then. A quick update back to Bobo. We're just um we're just going through the drive. This is insane. If I was a McDonald's employee and I seen this, I'd be like, yo, this is going on the internet. You know what I'm saying? He's um he's bought it. Uh, this car. Um he's just get, getting his insurance documents up. He ain't got his tax up, has he? Because that expired in February. I know, I've just showed him that. I've got it on my phone here. Uh, he's, he's not taxed it. It turns out he does have insurance, but not having an MOT means one thing. In March this year, the DVLA gave us some new powers, and if, if we stop a car yeah. that's out of tax by two months and a day, then we seize the car. It doesn't cost you 150 quid, it costs you 100 quid within 24 hours, and you and you get it taxed. Still low, it's like I, I know, but do you know... She reminds me of uh, the lady from... Um, let me think. I mean, I don't, it's... obviously, I wanted to drive the car today. It's Saturday as well on Sunday. Happy Valley. I don't like the compound. Yeah. No, no, it will be. They're open 24 hours a day. Just like the drive through. How oh, are you? You all right? Five hundred. Let me go. The man is facing a hefty fine, but you can't fault his manners. Do you want anything? Perfect. No, I'll get you a no, I'll no I'm good. <laughs> he tried to bribe Claire with a with a cheeseburger. 
Bro is out here doing whatever he can to not get this ticket. Yeah, yeah, sure. Are you shocked? Yeah, it is pickle. Pop up. What are you getting out good? Although there's no accounting for taste. Yeah. Oh, it's, uh, fish flip, yeah. Ah. Yeah. What is the MLT anyway? What is it? We always end up in these strange situations. Every time. Yeah, yeah, you can eat that. Every time. It's Bobo, look. Let, let's not do that. And it seems he needs to brush up on his driving skills. You are annoying it. Oh, sorry. Just park over here because I need to check this door. I don't even know your driver's license details or anything like that. She nervous. She even got nervous. But he might not even have a license the way he performing. Park, just park up here. There you go. There's a nice little space where you can show you me your reversing skills. No pressure. Oh, guess oh what? what has happened? He's stalled. I just saw that thing as well. It's like the weirdest buddy buddy movie ever. You making them nervous? Don't worry about it. Right. Just turn your engine off. And come and have a sit in the back of our car. Bring your food with you if you want. There you go. Just jump in there. This is the strangest police altercation that I. I've let him bring his food with him. Bobo, meet Claire's new partner. He's a bit of a maverick, but at least he likes to share. No, no you're not chief. <laughs> Come on, you stressed me out, man. <laughs> you stressed me out. Bobo will take us through. Bobo's drive through. <laughs> and Claire and Bobo have a bigger takeaway in mind, one with no road tax. Do you need anything out of the car? Go grab what you need. You got the key. Yeah, we got the key. Yeah. Can you just unlock the car? For me? Yeah, yeah I've unlocked, unlocked it. it. Excuse me. It's a lift home for the lad and another untaxed car to add to the statistics. I did worry for a short amount of time though that I might have been kidnapped. Yeah. I started revving it and all that, oh my God, I'm going to be kidnapped. <laughs> what am I going to do? Am I going to code zero or something? What, what would I do in that situation? Well, you, know, you didn't need to because I were here. How were we going to just, yeah. I was just going to stuff him into the fence, yeah. I don't know what just happened. Let me rewind. Uh, to your low, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. The UK needs to be studied in their court systems and police. This is crazy.